Hello and welcome to a Blender video. Uh, this is going to be about low poly pixel art texture painting. So, um, as you can see, this this scene is very very not colorful and is in dire need of some 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 texture painting. So that is what we are going to do, and uh, you're going to help. All right. So first, the first thing we're going to do is exit rendered view. And create a new material for, uh, I don't even know if you can tell, but this is supposed to be a penguin. Um, you'll be able to tell once there's colors, though, I promise. So we'll go to our penguin and, and create a material named penguin. And uh, we'll split our view. And I'm going to split it again, actually, in a second. But um, since we're going to be using a, since we're going to be texture painting, we're going to use an image texture and use that as the color. Now since um, we're going to be doing this in a pixel art style, we are going to change um, this linear to closest. That'll just keep the uh, pixels nice and clear and crisp. And then we're just going to make sure this uses uh, UV texture coordinates. So we'll plug that into vector. All right, and then we'll split this one more time. Um, and make this uh, our UV image editor. So we'll go ahead and create a new image, and this will be a penguin underscore texture. And we're just going to change the width and height to something very small, because um, that's the whole point of pixel art. So 64 by 64 works very well. Now we're just going to click OK, and the, this is our... oh. Go ahead and click material here. We're just going to choose that image as our image texture. We're going to go ahead and start painting. Well, actually, uh, you're not going to have this UV unwrapped already. So let me just go to solid view real quick. Um, you are going to want to UV unwrap it, so you can either just select everything and click U to UV unwrap. Maybe smart UV project. Um, but I, I did do some C marking where you click control E whoops he's not not that. Control E and mark seam, which just unwraps it a little different. Um, I'm not very good at it, so I'll you're probably able to figure it out. But uh, let's get painting. After after you have everything laid out in edit mode, you can just select it like that. But yeah, so in our UV image editor, let me give me a little more space though. We'll switch our view down here to paint. And this will go to material so we can see what we're doing. Now what we do want to do is make this, since it's a penguin, we want it to be dark. But don't use the um, completely solid black. Um, that doesn't show up. No, well, it does, but it's like very harsh. Um, Alright. So that's a little better. And now we'll go to orange. An orangey color. And reduce our brush size to something a little smaller. Maybe three, because we're going to use that later. But, um, yeah, we just start painting. You may want to do, like, I know... You do want to paint a little bit outside of it, so when you're UV unwrapping, just keep that in mind. You need a little bit of space around the object uh, for bleed, I think that's what it's called, for like bleed out. Um, this is orange too. Okay, so we're just going to paint that orange. This is the beak. That's the flipper. Now I'll just switch this back to white. Not not completely white because that's, that's the same reason. We'll make our brush size even smaller too. And I know this is our our belly. Now I don't know why it doesn't show up in um, material view, um, but as you can see, it's a little bit blurry, and that is usually what happens when this is not on closest but it's happening anyways. 
But when we render it, you can see that it shows up just fine. Um, yeah. And I know, I'm not entirely, actually, that reminded me of something. I'm not entirely sure if this uh, has an impact. Whoopsies. I'm not entirely sure if this has an impact on it, because um, you changed it to closest instead of linear. But you may just want to, oh, that is why I didn't save from last time. But MIP maps, you want to disable MIP maps and GPU MIP map generations in your Blender user preferences system. So I'm just going to save that actually. And now when we go to material, it'll show up like that. Okay, that's good. Um, now we're just going to paint it in the eyes. Maybe a little bit like, not like, not, not, not like that. I was just kidding. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a very basic model. There's not much painting for me to do. Um, I think it looks really nice. And I do the same thing for the background, but um, I'm not gonna make you watch me do that. Um, yeah, I hope you learned uh, something helpful. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe um, if you have other ideas for Blender tutorials, feel free to post a comment, and uh, I'll see what I can do to help you out. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.